they talking about the new my player builder is gonna have a synergy boost stretch big and slasher get a tremendous synergy boost like kobe bryant and shaq in their prime Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Talking about park badges coming back in a new, different way. A whole new rep system. They talking about if you play with randoms, you're going to get a huge rep boost. We, we getting all this information from a 2K inside, the leader of the 2K Illuminati, right? He, he work he work with 2K. These could be hints for the future. We're going to be talking about College Football 25, the success of it. Some 2K25 news about some new teams that's coming to the game. About how NBA 2K25 Pro Play has failed us. 2K finally adding Twitch drops for 2K25. And, and a bunch more. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new, man. Help me hit 296k.1 and like up the video. Like the video. Like the video. It's free, man. No one will know. So, first and foremost, TakeOver System in NBA 2K25. 24 was a new takeover system that we had yeah. um, never seen before with okay. the aspect of being able to select your takeover regardless of what attributes you had right so yep. we already knew from previous 2ks if you were a pure blue a pie chart or if you had a lot of finishing then you will most likely have a slashing takeover well, 2k24 said you know it doesn't matter what type unless of you, you finesse have, if you get takeover you can enhance a plus 10 to whatever aspect that might be so how did y'all like the takeover system this year so you could be a straight up pure sharpshooter, right? Don't even have driving dunk. But if you wanted to activate slashing takeover, you can activate that. And of course, and it, it did nothing for you if you didn't have no real slashing badge. Be able to benefit for whatever that plus 10 gives you attributes that you have. Now, in my humble opinion, initially I liked it, but as time went on, I just felt like it was just, I don't know, man. I don't really. Cause, Cause everyone just picked sharp take. Because what, whose bright idea was it to make ankle breaking and the best shooting in one takeover makes no sense. It makes no sense. You like that. You're not like Steph Curry. He gets hot all of a sudden. He's gonna start. Y'all, let me know if y'all agree. In contact dunks. You see what I'm saying? Now, some people might like that whole arcadey aspect. And don't get me wrong, I do prefer more arcadey basketball than I do true simulation. Right? I Go too simulated, the game kind of clunky, and I can tell you, guys, if you go too simulated, the game gets clunky. Do y'all know that's like two things? Those are two things that can't be true. We, we we have to stop this arcade versus sim, bro. Skill base versus casual base. That's what it is. Real life basketball is not clunky. That means they're making it unrealistic to cater to the negative win percent casuals who cry and hide on the video game, my boy. Everybody knows the golden era. 4K 2Ks were much more realistic than these newer supposed simulation 2Ks. And none of you will debate it live. Debate it live. Join the cord. Debate it live. Anyone. That EA, uh, EA College Football definitely has benefited with the, the aspect of it is way much faster. Uh -huh. RKD, more offense, right? You can score fast paced. Uh, now, I think people like that. You know, they like the fast paced. I've been telling y'all, stop catering to the. the I'm, I'm an old head too, but I'm evolved. I don't live in a delusion, deluded reality, bro. I know what I gotta do to, to be ready. They don't. They think they just him just cause they, for no reason, no accolades and nothing. They they suck at every game, bro. They're catering to the people that would just shell out money. They're Katie, more offense, right? You can score fast pace. Now I think people like that. So um people like fast pace, man. They gotta stop trying to cater to people that just suck at all video games, bro. It's it's not it. They're still always going to complain about that top percent because of envy or the people that got uh, positions that are creators, which they, they think they should have the position, right? They're always going to complain and feel the same no matter what you do to the game and they're never going to play that top percent. So you got to make it for your real base. You got to make them happy, not just random NPCs that don't know what they want. They don't understand what they want. It's like a bad bitch. She's saying you want you to act like she's saying she wants you to act like this, do this, do that. But then she don't understand. She will then lose complete interest in you and she will not like you anymore if you behaved and did what she is requested. That's the same for someone that suck at the game. They don't understand nothing. I'll be trying to tell you. They're lost. If they if they knew so much about the and so much about basketball, they would be able to prove it competitively on some level. They can't because they don't understand the game. They don't un they don't understand it. Just keep that in mind. But I feel like there are three different types of takeovers or ways of going about takeovers that are new and could truly 
revamp the takeover system and help certain people. Okay, so let's talk about this right here. Now I want y'all to listen very closely. When I do this. So number one is going to be a perk takeover system by playing with randoms. So this right here will benefit people that literally play with randoms all the time. By having teammates and you know, of course and they play with random people they have no chemistry with, they don't know, right? So it will help the randoms obviously be able to compete a little bit better with individuals that roam squads, right? Again, so what will happen is, is that if you step on the court and these individuals aren't your friends, you have no history of playing with them, what will happen is, is that off rip, by starting getting on the floor, you immediately get, I don't know, you can have a set number of a plus da 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 to all your attributes. No. Okay? To all what? your attributes for wondering with randoms. What this will do is this will, again, it will motivate what? individuals to just get on the dots and play. You see what I'm saying? Just get on the dots and play because you're, you're, you're individual. How would they know this? Usually people that play with randoms, they don't understand it. How would they know this? That could make people want to get on if they could get boosted to play teams. That's, but I, that could be finessed. How would they trace that? 2K wouldn't be able to trace that. All you got to do is not squat up and just all get on the spot at the same time. So I could be exploited. I don't think 2K is going to be able to trace your history. And if they do it by friends, they'll just remove each other and then they'll just uh, exploit the system. But then maybe if y'all, then once they're all together, then you took it away. But I'll be able to pull up on people and have that boost. So, I'm, so we kind of rattled that idea because 2K is not capable of that, to be honest. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Vigil teammates are going to get better boost for not knowing each other and of course that should help you be able to win you should also get a percentage boost if you win a huge percentage boost if yes. you win. now i know that this used to be something back in the day like if you on the, the streaks and you um ended a you know a 20 game streak and that type of deal so that is something that i'm kind of going off of but now as a random you step on the court park, park badges leak 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 i wish you can get if you win it's almost like you get this say you get four times rep you're saying four That'd times rep w. for winning oh. with randoms. You see what I'm saying? Lead. I think that would be a massive benefit. And of course, that'll actually be a W idea. Four times rep if you win with randoms. But then, then will people not just squat up to be able to get that boost? Only way it could truly probably work is to just make it last that one game. Because if you just keep it like that the whole time, then people will, they'll just find a way to just make the rest rep system basically just four times rep. So a random wreck, that'll probably make people start cheating it to get in random wreck on the same team, which they already do, but they'll probably do it way more, which will be annoying. But, and I think four times is a little much, maybe for park that one game, but like random wreck had that four times, man, that mode would be filled. That That's actually may, maybe, maybe three times. Nah, nah, nah may, maybe two. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Your takeover system, you will have the plus attributes to all your, 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 you know, your attributes, plus 10, plus five, whatever it is, but it's going to be to, and again, I, I'm giving a straight number. Maybe it's, you know, a plus five to your shooting because you already have high shooting. Maybe it's, it's customizable or something like that. Right. But regardless, I feel like that's going to be huge. Now on the flip side, Demi, Demi, the, the leader of the 2K Illuminati, the last couple of videos have been, your, your ideas have been somewhat okay. The videos before then, oh my God. <laughs> I was losing it. I hope you're not just talking and this is somewhat a hint into the future that you know, somewhat happened. We'll also have what I would like to uh, same thing where you have your dynamic dynamic takeover or you can have well, more like synergy type takeover by playing with friends. And again, a lot of people do play with friends, but you'd be amazed that more people play with randoms than they do play with friends. Okay. You wanna know why? Because they're horrible first. And then second of all, because no one really likes the game. The route 2K is going down. You're killing your game the people at the top they can't tell i'm in the I'm in the field i'm in i'm in war bro it's killing the game the route that they're going down is killing what 2k is all of my people have quit they've become old heads they've quit they miss the old 2k every year people are quitting i know people grow out of things they get busy in life but it's it's the 2k's are getting so bad and i do get a squad they quit for the next 2k they're not there anymore and i have to keep every season i have to find a new squad and i'm known right and then when someone hits me up that's decent at the game they then just retire before we even get to play bro that's not 2k bro and i'm talking all ages it's usually younger people that be talented too they they qu they're quitting the game if if all the somewhat decent people in your game are just quitting and they just don't care and they're just Man, I'm gonna just get on and play with randoms if I even do. It means your game not fun, bro. I'm, I'm, y'all sim guys, you have to quit, bro. You're gonna be hiding from people anyway. Y'all gotta stop trying to influence the game. You're gonna be hiding, whining, complaining, not trying to play nobody, not. Shut up, man.
You don't you don't you don't know what's good for 2K, boy. Shut up. You're going to play in your little reality, your little offline mode. You're not in the field, bro. No matter how you play, it's always going to be sim. No matter what they do. You're going to take a screen fade. You're going to do a play. Shoot. No matter what you do, post score. Uh, you're always going to see your own reality. You're going to be in the wreck with the straight bots all the time. It's always going to be that same style for you, bro. But for the people that's in the field, everything matters way more. And y'all, y'all let me know how y'all feel. I'm sure y'all experience the same thing, bro. I hear it even more like, i have a discord with like 10,000 people y'all make sure y'all join it link down below no one plays <laughs> all levels like bro that, and it's a 2k discord no one plays i even go look at the uh, 2k discord it's not even lit like that other discord like, bro and people saying like later bro people aren't playing they're the playstation group chats they be they be trying to run a little bit but i don't i don't be seeing nobody have a team the only people y'all see have teams be people with crazy clout and then you know the people they running with they trying to leech off them so they run with them right but like normal people and stuff it's rare especially on the park y'all are killing the game i don't know why y'all like the, these 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 double twisting YouTubers and Twitter and Reddit people, they they want people to leave the community. They want to kill the game. They literally listen to what they say. They want to kill the game. They don't care about the health of the game. They are so envious and hateful. They want to ruin the game for you. <laughs> they want to kill the game. They want you to fail. They want you to phase out. They don't want you to have fun. They don't want kids to have fun. They don't want people good at video games to have fun. They don't like your kind. They don't care if the game dies. They want them to only be left. These are the worst type of people in life. They want everyone to move on. Isn't that crazy? Y'all see, when I look at the game, I look at it from an overall perspective. What's best for the game? You know, much more healthier. I, I try to give everybody something. But these guys, it's sick. But it'd be something like um, you could encourage strategic lineups, encourage strategic lineups. It's like a dynamic. And again, when I say dynamic, because my team had did something with this and I thought it was a good idea to implement it in the park. So Shaq and Kobe, what do they do? if you have Shaq and Kobe on the court together, they get immense attributes because Shaq and Kobe, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, mm, that type of thing. Is this true? Okay. So obviously the way to implement this in the my player park, if they're not going to use templates, if they use templates. It's like a slasher stretch they get a duo boot why is he bringing up templates again easy oh my god and we talked about i talked about templates and how i feel like that is the wave free to play template builds each position has like 10 to 20 template builds free to play right but then let's say for instance no template why does demi keep bringing this up how can the game be free to play and all template builds are free to play how can someone explain to me in the comments how can that work and uk's greedy money work the only way is if they release crazy amounts of mascots and skins like od that's the only way but i don't see them doing i, I don't understand i'm f i'm thinking the template builds you'd have to pay template builds would be like dollars or something builds the point guard template build that is more of a i don't know let's say it's more of a playmaker right it's a pure playmaker type template and then his dynamic duo, right, will be a template build that is a pick and roll inside that catches lobs. And by them two playing together, they get a massive boost and they get unique abilities, all right? So again, like I said, I know this sounds- That, that, that seems cool. No, 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 it, it sound cool. What you thought? What you thought? I don't know about the template build stuff. Be like a playmaker in a stretch and, or a lockdown in a some type of guard you know. insane but to me i feel like what it would do is it would encourage people to run with different lineups it would encourage them to run with different lineups somewhat or if you're if you're they randoms you happen to step on the dots and or you you're walking around and you're trying to find randoms to run with and you're that pure playmaker and then you see that inside template and you're like yo gotta run with him because that's gonna give me a boost why would a pure playmaker run with an inside dude? your playmakers don't run with insides did me at least on the sending each other messages and but hey yo you're a playmaker you're a high flyer like, oh, let's, let's team up something like that and then of course you get that dynamic boost on top of running with a random you get that boost and you get that you know it just opens up the imagination of how you could play and it gives you know, obviously the ability to just mix things up and not have everybody running with the same exact lineup all right it's better than that uh, badge regression system y'all introduce and this is very vague
because I feel like this is open conversation for individuals to try to come in the comment section and give us some exact ideas and numbers on that. I do believe I said in my first ever video that you know individuals should be able to have special unique abilities based upon their template. If they're a pure lockdown, they should be able to get Why is he like, templates. Are we are we getting templates? Are we getting templates the way I said it, or like, is he just trying to lease it and just keep saying the free stuff? Because I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know. Unique badges and that type of deal that only that <laughs> template build can get because again that's where you'll be able to have that ability to be unique so anyway and then last but not least i think that this would be really really dope and that would be customizable takeover so it will allow players to customize their takeover pass by choosing specific attributes or skills so i guess what you can bro it that sounds like he just read that <laughs> That literally sound like he just he just read that. Let's y'all let me know if it sound like he just read that. Skills. So it will allow players to customize their takeover pass by choosing specific attributes or skills. Sound like he just read. So that. I guess what you can say is is this: you have your template, and oh. then before you create that player and walk, I'm already template is free anyway. It's not like you put money into it. You would then be able to pick the path of the takeover that you would want based upon uh. that template. So again, not to be confusing. Let's keep it simple with the playmaking takeover. With that playmaking takeover, let's say, because now you can customize the takeover. So in 24, it's plus 10 to each category, right? But let's just say, for the sake of argument, when you create this template player and he has a plus, instead of a, you have 40 attribute points that you can allocate, and then you have like seven or eight unique badges that is associated with them, and then you can pick out of them seven badges or eight badges, you can only pick three. So let's say, for instance, with that pure playmaking template, right, you have eight potential badges that you can use as a takeover, but you can only pick three, right? So let's say, for instance, you know, the badges is ankle breaker, right? One of the other badges. Bro, I'm starting to get a little confused, bro. Like a Spider-Man tree and you just build up on it. When I say ankle breaker, meaning like it will drop people on the ground. One of the other badges could be Needle threader, but it's like you basically do 90, like throw the ball right at people and then they're not going to be able to take, pick it off, right? I, I'm yeah. just giving extreme things, but wait, wait, you're wait. customizable. So instead of just being like, yo, I got playmaking takeover, these are the set badges you get. Give, give the community a pool of badges and abilities and then only allow them to select three. So guess what? The playmaker that you are looking at will not necessarily have the same takeover as the other playmaker. So what I'm concluding is right. He's basically saying choose three. And then when you go to an unconscious state, those three badges will transcend beyond time and give you newfound abilities. Cool. That you're looking at, right? Pretty unique. You see what I'm saying? And then you have those attribute boosts. Those attribute boosts can be allocated to any category, but then the individual gets to select what that is. So let's say, for instance, we all know a lot of people made a pure sharp, but if you made a pure sharp and you had a 95 three ball and then you just added takeover all right, to your shooting, all right, it's roadkill, but you added, how would I want to do that? So let's say, for instance, you had a 95 three ball, you allocate four attributes there just on your three balls and now you have a 99 now you have you know, 36 attributes to work with so then you're like all right cool i want to have my speed here i want to have this i want to get my defense i want my defense to go crazy so i want to add you know 15 here so then when it's all said and done your takeover system will give you unique badges and unique attribute boosts that not every this is going to y'all know th th this is a real this is a real marketing gimmick that they have to do year to year to make everything as confusing as possible so you make mistakes and you keep shelling out money and then you see new stuff from youtubers and stuff and or the internet and then you're inspired to try new things then someone finds something and you're oh, over and over again this sounds like the perfect system to really do that i'm just letting y'all know how business works in 2k's but guys in the confusion this is why you subscribe to me i will break it down for you and let you really know what you need so you can save your bread I'll always be correct single individual is able to have so those are three different ideas of takeover systems i want to know what y'all think am i tripping is uncle demi going crazy badge plug tweeted this out college football 25 has over 900k players online right now not throughout the today right now now look guys 2k would never do this because they not lit like that and they're not confident in their product there's a reason they hide their number. Games that show their numbers, they're more confident in their product, da 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 2K, even though they're the only basketball game, they do not show things like this. There is a reason, bro. So for the people that be double twisting, on their knees, mouth wide open, trying to max out their glue hands back, trying to upgrade their rote attributes, and uh, really transcend through time to be able to, you're wrong, man. When y'all be like, when you trying to like up the state, 
it's not true bro i'm in the field i'm 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 in, I'm in the random wreck when they forcing me with uh ais and stuff like that all year during the day after after everybody off work hella late hella early i'm in the field i know the state of the game my boy but you could tell when when games show this or they they have it up somewhere else those are more trustworthy games 2k is not it bro so you, you should believe more Oh, 2K probably not doing too well. That's why they ain't showing. And then e even even when they be showing their top games for the PlayStation or whatever, bro, if that's true, th think about it. If that's so true, right? If it's really true, why wouldn't they show their number? But look, they cheese says 2.2 million gamers paid 30 extra, 100 to play college football 25 three days early. They definitely got me, and I ain't played a football game in 10 plus. Years. They definitely got me. Y'all let me know if they got you. I actually went with the 150 to get the Madden. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> On God they got me i'm sorry i don't want to mess up y'all i ain't pre-ordering 2k though make sure y'all don't pre-order 2k because you get no benefit from it. 2k tweak uh, he's recording something i don't know bro international teams argentina leak, 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 leak. possible usa team returning maybe it's not in i don't know now look this is a super sim guy. He cares about the jersey, the etching, the placement of the uh, arm sleeve, everything, okay? The more cool Sim Nation guy. This is who Sim Nation think they are, okay? They be double twisting the game. He flames the game because he wants it more Sim. You know what Sim Nation think they are? Well, he say, the fact that we never got this beautiful jump shot in any of our 2K games makes me sad. Pro play? I always did my best to replicate it, okay? We didn't have KD and pro play was really here like, not in the game as much as y'all think, man. Now, 2K has added Twitch drops, man. For a while, it was the only game that's like something that did not have Twitch drops. They finally added Twitch drops in 2K. That is a huge W. Okay, they're at the end of this year and no one really cared. But for 2K25, expect Twitch drops to be there so y'all could get whatever or, you know. So, yeah, to Twitch drops. Be sure to follow me on Twitch because I'm going to be streaming for 2K25. And uh, it's in the description. Make sure y'all follow up before this video. So look, badge plug tweets out. So you're telling me, he, he deleted this tweet. I don't know why. So you're telling me EA went with arcade-like college football 25 instead of realism. Quote, unquote. That's what I'm saying, badge. Because it's not really realistic. He says, that makes everything stiff and people love it. Wonder if any other game could do that. It's true. Even though the defense is weak and all that, but they're trying to make it relate more to, more to college with that. But like for offense, like they seem to like that. They just want more of a counter. Now, as y'all can see right here, y'all can probably expect Baluba to come back to 2K in August, man. Y'all let me know if y'all are excited. We're 48 days away from, uh, make sure y'all turn on them notice. Hey, y'all go watch my last video. If you wanna see the new uh, college football 25 and how to make 2K25 gameplay hella realistic. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.